Hello my beautiful people. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing the top 10 trailers in the past month. Alright guys, so it is one of the days that I'm celebrating my birthday and I say one of the days because I'm conceited and I'm going to celebrate it over a few days. But I missed you guys and I wanted to make a video and there were no trailers coming out so I had to create a new concept. If you like this video, make sure you let me know down below because I'll keep making them for you. So I thought I'd list my favourite trailers for the past month in order from 10 to 1 and call the video top 10 in 10 because it's going to be in 10 minutes smart right you love it don't lie you love it all right so we're going to start so my last pick for the place of 10 place did that make sense no, probably not <laughs> hey hey i'm recording here my friends in the background commentating no one asked for your opinion you're here to pay for my food Anyway, so my dogs aren't here to pester me, but my friends here to pester me, so. In the 10th place, we've got Brightburn. Brightburn is definitely a different aesthetic when we look at the superhero genre. He's a villain that is exactly like Superman. How strange is that? If you didn't know, where'd my cup go? Guys, cheers. I'm having a little bit of vodka. Because it's, it's my birthday. So, Brightburn's definitely a different aesthetic. We've got a superhero complex with a villain storyline. It's insane. The trailer looks insane. Obviously, I'm going to leave snippets. Then we have Onwards with Chris Pratt and Tom Holland. It's a match made in heaven. It's like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie before they adopted all the children in Africa and broke up. Stay down! Oh Sorry, I didn't get a chance to walk her. Oh, bad dragon. Back to your lair. I see you've brought sustenance for our adventure. No, it's garbage for the trash can and you left the lid off. Oh, shoot. Get out of here. All right, do you know how I was saying that this isn't going to be a bias, a bias video? You're going to know, you're going to know why now. So my next pick on my list is Rainbow Five. Everyone knows that I'm a crazy Stallone fan and that I love Rainbow, but I just feel like the trailer fell short. So our seventh pick is Annabelle Far From Home. I'm gonna leave the reactions down below because literally I ended up watching this trailer at like three in the morning and I was by myself at home and I was gonna cry. Don't judge me. I know you cry too. But it looks like just a great horror movie. After the disappointment that the nun bring about, that movie was just I I'm sure networks just think, could we unrelease it? And that's how I feel they feel about the nun. There was a lot of marketing, not a lot of substance, the storyline was rubbish. It just made me feel like I wanted an entrance song into every room I went into, which, you know, I still kind of feel like that. And I've felt like that for a while. But it, it reinstated it in my mind, which is dangerous because... Hey, Chantal, uh, can I have an intro song when I come in the room? You can play it when I come in. I'll, I'll decide which song. I haven't decided yet. If you play it late, you get bashed. All right, so I, I have an intro song now. Um, but that's kind of how I thought about The Nun. Hopefully Annabelle doesn't disappoint us quite the same way, but let's not hold our breaths. Don't hold your breath, you might die. The next movie trailer is Once Upon a Time from Hollywood. 
big fan, love Quentin Tarantino, love Sergio Leone, which is Quentin Tarantino's influence, Once Upon a Time in the West, one of my all-time favourite movies, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, in damn credible. Sergio Leone is, unfortunately he passed away, but in my mind, he has been my one and only for a very long time. Just the wide shots, the, the really good close-ups, incredible. I love it. I love it. And I'm happy to see that they're making Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. The cast is incredible. Leonardo DiCaprio, can you go wrong? Have you seen Blood Diamond? If you haven't, highly recommend it. I love that stuff, you know, the killing. A lot of killing. So five on my list is Terminator. I'm a big fan of the franchise, apart from certain movies. I think my favourite movie is probably the second one. But I'm happy that they've bring a lot of the original cast members back. I think it's going to be definitely an interesting movie. There was a lot of just like really cool scenes in the trailer that got me excited for the new movie that kind of related to some of the old movies. I love the essence of Arnold. I don't know how much screen time he's going to have. Which is so sad because we all love Arnold. Who doesn't love Arnold? Except for that guy that kicked Arnold. Find him. Who? Why have? Why has nobody kicked that guy? I would do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. So fourth on my list is Maleficent, which is so surprising to a lot of you because I hate it. Wow. Watch your dislikes. But I hated the original Maleficent. It was such a... It was one of those movies that I expected a lot from. And then when I watched it, I was ultimately, like, disappointed. But the trailer for Maleficent 2 does look pretty amazing. What have you done? So the third trailer is Child's Play. Child's Play is an iconic franchise. Anyone that loves horror movies loves Child's Play. It's incredible. The concept of a haunted, possessed doll trying to kill children so it can take their bodies is entertaining, but super creepy. <laughs> Second on our list, we have It Chapter 2. If you haven't seen the miniseries, go watch it. Highly recommend. If you haven't seen... It chapter one, it's to die for. It's such an incredible film. So well done, so well put together, so horrifying. Which brings me on to my next point. Apparently, It chapter two is worse. I am so scared to go and watch it, but I know I'm gonna have to because I love, I love Stephen King. If you wanna go watch my reaction, I actually dressed up as it, it was, um, it was horrifying because I kept catching reflections of myself, crying a little and having to fix the makeup, talk about time consuming, but I got it done. So check out parts of the trailer right here. The top trailer on my list is The Dead Don't Die. Who doesn't love Ghostbusters? Who doesn't love Bill Murray? Because if you don't, you and I, we just, it's sad, but we just can't be friends. I'm joking. We can be friends. I'm just saying Bill Murray, zombie movie, it's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful that I might just break down and die. Uh, she's alive holy shit look out kids all right guys so did you like the video because if you did you have to give it a thumbs up if you're not yet subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button so we can run together and if you haven't seen any of my reactions i don't want to say shame on you but i will shame shame on you go and watch some I'm also active on other social medias such as Instagram where I'll be uploading photos of me in this if you saw the whole outfit. I'm sure a lot of you would just drop dead. It's amazing. So go follow me there and so I'm 
I said Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, right? Well, I did now. But until next time, my absolutely beautiful human beings, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>